I'm currently at a place called Sulzimos, which is to the north of Munich. It has by far the largest selection of used motorhomes in Europe. It's an, an enormous area. And uh, what I want to do over the next, let's say, two days, I might stay here, is to show you a selection of vehicles, which it has. And now, what I was hoping to show you, above all, was some classical used vans. Unfortunately, so far, uh, wandering around here, I haven't seen any. Um, when I say classic, I'm really thinking of things which are 15 years plus older. Some, you know, some Niesman Bishop from 1995 or something like that. But anyway, here, uh, to uh, kick this off, uh, I've got this Death Left Trend A6977. This van, you've got a price up there of 57 and a half thousand euros and uh, the important thing I suppose here to start off with is the um, it's got 6208 kilometers on the clock so effectively it's more or less uh, new and the equipment is up here because what at the end of the day you're paying for is uh, to a large extent the equipment and so how much does that differ from buying it new uh, that is the problem which is often difficult to discern okay length 706 Height, height's 0319, width 233, and registered in May 2019. So what one thinks is that this, or at least what I think rather than what one thinks, uh, is that this was a demonstration model, and as such, that uh, may explain the price. Now, the vehicle is, of course, uh, effectively new, and when you come in here now it looks as though it is showroom ready note flat floor up here above the cabin you've got the bed and at the back there is a double bed accessible via a ladder which is there the bed is a slightly non-conventional shape just ever so slightly because here it uses the uh, this little bit here so should anything ever happen to the mattress uh, you're gonna find it difficult to replace it not that I'm suggesting that anything is likely to happen to the mattress right so what does this mean well this means that this is the shower area because this thing here moves up backwards and forwards to give uh, space here if you don't want to get the rest of it wet when you're in the shower and that's where the uh, that's where the, uh, um, the, the the hose goes so unfortunately you do have to put this back here to get the shower in use down there under the duckboard, you've got two uh, plug holes, which are camper van type, not the ones which I prefer, which are the domestic type. Uh, one good thing, always oh, you always seem to get anyway, with the uh, cab over models is a really good sized wardrobe. And under here, this down there, you've got your boiler. Truma, and as you can also see, there's your fuse box indoors, always the best place for it. And if you ever wanted to get into the boiler for whatever reason from inside, there, there it is. These boilers don't require much maintenance, but occasionally something does happen to them. One advantage uh, of keeping them indoors is actually though, it does sort of give them a little bit extra protection from the cold. Uh, I, I had a problem with my Heimer van. It was The boiler was in the garage and uh, the, if the temperature went below four degrees, it dumped all the water and uh, that's not necessarily something you want happening. Once in Nuremberg as well, so I opened the door uh, to my van. It was in November. Then I hear splash and there's a pile of water under it. So I think uh, one would have to say there's plenty, or I would have to say, or you could say, or whatever, that there's plenty of storage here 
in this van. That's that's a nice thing. And table is a relatively good size. Uh, personally, I could do well without that bench there, though. Particularly as the chairs. You see, this one is already. It's got a. This will turn around. It's got a captain's chair. Well, there'll be no point in having a captain's chair on that side. But uh, look at all. You've lost all of this space by having the chairs like that. And uh, okay, there could be a reason why you want six belts. Uh, there could be a reason. Uh, this will also make into a bed here, so you might need six spaces. But uh, anyway, if that's the case, then you won't think that's a waste of space. But uh, if not, then you may say, well, let's get a different van. Have a look at something a little bit different. Now the sun's quite bright, so that will make filming a little bit more awkward. I see, see him get into the, the garage. I didn't check this one out. Let's have a have a quick look. Yeah, get in. I think yes, yes, yes. Look at that enormous garage in there. Plenty of space in there. Now, I do like to show you one or two other vehicles as I'm uh, walking around. And uh, so this will try, I'll try and make this n no exception. <laughs> uh, Sunlight A68, almost got A680 there, but it's definitely Sunlight uh, 68. Uh, 35,000 euros, there's your equipment. Um, chassis packet, which is the most expensive, but what that actually includes, uh, I don't know if it's meant to be that much is there or not. Uh, 42,000 kilometers, 663 th uh, centimeters long by 310 is highest point, 232. It's a very similar van uh, to the, what we've just seen. Of sunlight, obviously, it's also manufactured by the Erwinheimer Group. And uh, this one here, of course, though, just a little bit smaller inside. And this one here distinguishes itself by having double beds at the back. And I thought I'd filmed everything that Sunlight's done in the past, but I can't recall ever filming this one. I definitely prefer this type of washroom to the one with the door where you have to put the door back as the the last Death Lefts model had. Now, as they're both within the Owenheimer group, a lot of the equipment is exactly the same and what they tend to do in cases like this is they might have different color schemes inside so it looks a bit different like that but if you look at this you'll see that's exactly the same fuse box isn't in the same position and we also can't nip into the uh the boiler And oh, I can't get in here. That usually tends to open it. Anyway, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Give that one a miss. Fridge. Well, it's slightly different. And there's the freezer. Obviously, both. Made in Germany. Let's see what the next one looks like. Well, I've got no price. I've got no price on this one. Let's see if it's open. Now this, I have to say, is very similar to the one we started off with. The only difference will be this. 
You see, I'm dressed up for the, the cold weather, though admittedly I might have exaggerated a little bit, it's not too bad. There's the boiler that we missed in the other van, and up here is exactly the same. That's a wonderful kitchen worktop there. So coming down, giving a, a view of similar, and this now is different. Chausson is uh, manufactured by Trigano in France. So looking 56,000 for this one here, 720 long, 310 in uh, heights maximum 0.2 and 30 in width this has got nearly 12,000 on the clock so again it's probably a demonstration model oh, and this one's locked because I tried it earlier sorry right so we're not getting there anyway anyway it was a short sort of model I didn't uh, necessarily want to show it so we'll walk around the other way now See the vans from this direction. Okay, so I hope you found that of uh, interest. If you did, you might want to uh, subscribe. I'm going to try and show more and more used vehicles as uh, as I can. Obviously.